everyone, welcome to Shennington. We're here today at uh, the Ultimate Karting Championship. We're gonna watch Steve race. Hopefully I give him some tips and tricks to uh, secure the win. And yeah, let's go and fight. As you can see, karting, the glamour of getting changed at the back of your car. We don't have our own private quarters like they do in F1. Not quite the budget here for that. What, uh, what engine we got in this car today? Yeah, um, so I've, I've actually changed over to Senior Max. So yeah. I was doing X30 earlier yeah. this year. Changed over, so it's happened with Tony Kart chassis or EOS. Um, I'm using Kart Republic pods because they're lighter because okay. I'm too heavy. This is session one, practice one, whatever you want to call it, FP1. We're going to do a race run simulation here, Yeah. so we don't care about the lap time, that's it, there's no pressure. Lo loading simulation into the first half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, practice it on someone. Without getting a drop nose penalty. Whoever looks at you funny, that's the guy <laughs> to practice on. <laughs> So the motorsport can be dangerous. Really dangerous, especially when I'm on track. Steve's out of practice at the moment, getting the laps in. Um, just getting a feel for the track before qualifying later today. It's a really important session to get on the pace, find your limits and yeah, prepare the best you can for qualifying. I was last here about eight years ago for the British Championship. I don't even remember where I finished, but it was good fun here. It's a good race. That is an iconic message from the mechanics of the driver to keep pushing. That's it. They just do that. That means full gas. And then like when you get this in the race it means you've got a good gap behind you. And that means box because you've done it. <laughs> It looked quite good. I didn't see him get overtaken, which is a positive. But there's also no one near him. How was it? Yeah, I mean, oversteery, slow, but... I said that. Said it. Oversteer, Not yeah. happy with the rear. Um, but I think a lot of people went on new tyres. Yeah. And we're going to go new tyre next okay. round, so... got our makeshift radio, just like they do in F1. I've got my phone, there's another phone in there, and I'm gonna be chatting to Steve while he's going round. I'm gonna give him the best tips possible, because he's got new tires on. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with it. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Testing, testing, can you hear me, Steve? I can indeed. I don't know if I've had to hear you with the engine on, though. Well, let's enjoy this moment while it lasts. Bit loud in the pit lane. Just hear him driving around. How is it out there? I don't think you can hear me. Steve! How is it? He's not having it. Yeah, I could not hear you talking. Oh, I was replying, but you can hear me. Huh? You could hear me. I could hear yeah. you. I could not hear you replying. It's just the engine. Yeah. Yeah, we made that setup. I couldn't get any launch off the hairpin and I would just get done every lap. 
That's what I was saying. I had no watching. acceleration off the slow course. It just looked like you had no power. At all. No power. Like it wasn't so even all the way into here. You just get reeled in and then either yeah. attacked into there and then out of the hairpin. It just looked like they just reel you in like, or you get dropped. It's not a GP2 engine. It's a GP78 engine. It was like that's what um, I said, engine. We're watching me eating a banana. I'm watching that. <laughs> no, we are tuning in to the F1 sprint race in Monza, supporting our papaya man. Come on, Lando. Lights out and away we go. Oh, go on. go on. Hold on a minute. He's putting him on the grass. Go on, Lando. Stay on the tarmac. He's gone. Oh, it smells like a large lockup. I had no power at all and I just dropped like a stone. I went so far backwards. How about you? Drop. Good. Where'd you finish? Okay. Okay. I'm going to try and make up for my awful race with a, with a number one, you know, in the next race. So. It was yeah. awful. I'll win the final, that's what it matters. He's a, he's out of course. Catching a bit. No idea who that was. Um, that race on the grid is the one before me. So maybe 20 minutes until the start of my race. Where are we starting to this one? 21st, at the back. So you can only go forward now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No excuses now. No pressure from behind. No pressure. Especially all these guys at the front. Doesn't have to first. Lando's moved forward. Well, he hasn't really, has he? But he will because of the Bottas penalty. Yeah. So we've got a good chance tomorrow, starting P3 behind the pole sitter on the racing line, but the rubber down. We're going to be hopefully in P2 or P1 by the exit of the first game tomorrow. We've changed our setup a bit. We should be a bit better off the slow corner. Uh, we're starting at the back. This is our back start now, so it's a good chance just to look forward, try and get some positions, try and overtake, and have a bit of fun. Back in business. How, am I getting, how much can I get paid today? up race fans We've got a false start so that means we haven't lost or gained any positions just yet so we are waiting to see I'm really nervous We're going around the outside. That's risky, oh, Steve. Yeah. We've been hit. Oh, oh, we. Oh, we're going back. Oh, why are we in the pits? We're out. Oh. We're out. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's a wrap. Yeah, I think he got hit off by someone else. I saw contact and then got spun around on the exit so that is sadly the end of our day here at uh, Shennington it's a shame for Steve so I think we uh, resolved the problem it's a bit of a shame not to see his progress because I think we did resolve the issue that we had in race one so I guess you'll have to find out next time we lost the two corners I saw a lot of tyre smoke and by the looks of your side, Tom. Yeah, just got tangled up. Wide. Just got tangled, yeah. I was in the middle of a three, and I got through them, when you, I just made contact with the outside one. Yeah. But then it was kind of okay, and I just I was coming back in here, it was just like we merged and bang, yeah. yeah. It's unfortunate it's racing. The ups and downs of motorsport. You gotta have pain to have yeah. glory. You, gotta, you appreciate the good days when you have the bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my chassis there. It's not ideal. <laughs> what happened? That's, that's to go straight. A little bit of a sandwich. Yeah, that's not meant to look like that. Right, the way everyone. Yeah. That's meant to be straight. Yeah. 
that's us done for the day. It wasn't quite the day we were looking for, unfortunately, on the track. Just had a big, big crash just then. But huge crash. It's all right. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all right. That's the main thing. It's good content as well. So. It is. We did it for the content. I did brief him to have a crash. That was intended. 100% I was meant to do that. Exactly. Really hope you enjoyed the video. As ever, we're trying to go for 500k. So get yourself subscribed. Hit the like button. Give us a comment. Tell us what you thought. And uh, we'll catch you around very soon. Yeah. Looking at the comments. We read them. Yeah. And I get rinsed. I love it. <laughs>